pals, and what struck me, Shannon, is the fact that they weren't just out there playing soccer, they were doing so in shorts. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. It gets hot after a while. I, yeah, I, I guess so. Uh, but you're right, it is early, and I suppose the good news is, for those winter weather enthusiasts, the temperatures have been so cold that the ski hills have started making snow and have already opened in many locations. The problem is that cold is not going away anytime soon. It's going to be here, and it's going to get worse. We'll talk about that in just a moment. First, here's a live look from our Kenosha Tower cam, and throughout Kenosha and southeastern Wisconsin, we're seeing the snow that piled up yesterday. The worst of it, as I mentioned at the top of the broadcast, was mainly down south close to the Wisconsin-Illinois border around Walworth into portions of western Racine and much of Kenosha County seeing anywhere between two and four inches of accumulation. Your weather headlines for this Sunday evening. Well get ready my friends because we're going to see wicked winds. That's going to combine with what I'm calling crazy cold because yes it is going to feel like it's crazy cold for this time of the year even before Thanksgiving. Those two will combine to produce wind chills at times around our viewing area below zero. Add in just a few flakes for good measure. No big deal though. Outside right now, temperatures across southeastern Wisconsin generally hovering near 30 degrees along the lake shore by Lake Michigan's insulating waters, but inland locations not bad either uh, compared to where we're going, generally in the mid to upper 20s. You go farther up to the north and you see where that cold air is coming at us. A reinforcing blast of Arctic air sweeping out of Canada where readings are generally in the single digits in many spots. Now here's our future forecast of temperatures on our computer models. And and as we go into Monday, our high temperatures Monday will be lucky if we touch 20 degrees. Similar story on Tuesday. Look for highs only in the upper teens to near 20. And then as we go toward Wednesday, we'll see a little bit of a bump, but not significantly. Satellite and radar combination showing an abundance of cloud cover around here as that storm system continues to pass on by and behind it on future forecast our computer model. You can see the rush of the northwesterly breezes that will kick up and produce that cold air in place. Now we may see a few snow showers tomorrow. You saw that on future future forecast, but our, our future snowfall computer model painting very little in the way of accumulation as we go through the upcoming work week. So your storm team forecast for us as we head through the nighttime hours tonight, look for a few flakes, otherwise partly to mostly cloudy, breezy, bitter cold, down to 14. Tomorrow we'll start with wind chills near zero, get the kids bundled up before school, windy and bitter cold with some snow showers by the afternoon and highs near 20. Here comes your storm team seven day forecast and again, on Tuesday, our highs, if we're lucky, get to the upper teens to near 20 degrees. On Wednesday, a similar situation, but our readings just a little bit warmer and heading through the rest of the week. Look at that. There will be some recovery by next weekend into the mid 30s. The problem is, Charles and Shannon, the mid 30s, <laughs> that's still 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. Just brutal. Yeah, it really is. That's a good word to use. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. All right, well, next in sports.